we're given matrix A and we're first asked to determine the size of the matrix, then determine the following elements in the matrix. The size of a matrix, often referred to as the dimensions of the matrix, are indicated by the number of rows by the number of columns. So looking at matrix A, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five rows, and there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and therefore the size of matrix A is five by six, so we can say the dimensions of matrix A are five by six. Again, the five indicates there are five rows, and the six indicates there are six columns. Now we want to determine the elements indicated by the notation used here. We're looking at the subscripts, the first value indicates the row the element is in, and the second value indicates the column the element is in. So for A sub one comma four, we're looking for the element in matrix A that is in row one, column four. If we compare this to A sub four comma one, here we're looking for the element in row four, column one. So referring back to matrix A, Let's first find the element a sub one comma four. So we want to find the element in row one, this is row one, and column four, this would be column four. So notice how a sub one comma four is the element negative seven. Now if I compare this to a sub four comma one, here we're looking for the element in row four column one. So counting down the rows, row one, row two, row three, here's row four. Column one is the first column. So notice how a sub four comma one is this element here, the element zero. Next we have a sub two comma five, and then we have a sub five comma two. So for a sub two comma five, we're looking for the element in row two, column five. And for a sub five comma two, we're looking for the element in row five, column two. So for a sub two comma five, again we're looking for the element in row two, this is row two, and then column five, counting from left to right, we have column one, two, three, four, five. So notice how a sub two comma five is the element eight. And for a sub five comma two, we're gonna locate row five, which is the last row, and then column two, which is the second column, so notice how a sub five comma two is the element positive seven. And for our last two, for a sub three comma two, we want to find the element in row three, column two. And for a sub two comma three, we want to find the element in row two, column three. So for a sub three comma two, again we're looking for the element in row three, this would be row three, and column two, which is this column here. So notice how a sub three comma two is eight. And finally, a sub two comma three, looking for the element in row two, column three, which notice how it would be the element positive six. Using this notation, to indicate an element in a matrix, the first value of the subscript is always the row, and the second value is always the column. I hope you found this helpful.